often been said music is the international language. Well, that language brought children together in Dripping Springs this week from two sides of the world. The African Children's Choir has been performing at several places in and around Austin. We caught up with them at a school in Hayes County. At Walnut Springs Elementary in Dripping Springs, this lesson is about Africa. Like somewhere, it's close to Asia. It's pretty close to Asia. The teachers, 13 children from Uganda who share their stories through music and dance. I do dance classes after school, but they're not like that. The African Children's Choir is made up of 8 to 11-year-olds who like to think of themselves as ambassadors for Africa's most vulnerable children. Most of the members have lost one or both parents. I stay with my brothers and sisters, have two brothers, and I have two sisters, and two of them are baby. Their past doesn't stop them from spreading their message of hope while raising money to run schools for themselves and about 8,000 other children in seven different countries in Africa. We see the pictures of African children on television. Sometimes they're emaciated. And, and really, when they're able to come to the schools, they're able to show how much potential and how much beauty and dignity the African child has and how much they have to teach us. I know. Deborah's grandmother heard about the choir and knew it could be the chance for the nine-year-old to get an education never heard of in their small Ugandan village. And with every stop on the American tour, her world keeps growing. I like Texas because it has many fun things like swimming and Ferris wheels. Did you ride on a Ferris wheel? No, I haven't, but I would like to. Their rhythms may take them all over the globe. But the children are quick to tell you their plan is to go home to Africa and make it better for children who come after them. African children's choirs have toured for 26 years, creating future leaders for Africa. This choir joined several Austin musicians for a big event benefiting their education program on March 23rd. It's out at the Nutty Brown Cafe on Highway 290 West, and it's hosted by actors from NBC's Friday Night Lights, Connie Britton and Taylor Kitsch. Now, we have a link to ticket information for that event with this story under the local section of KXAN.com. And interesting, one of the other things they told me, Jim, about that they love about Texas, it's hot here, they say, just like Uganda. Is that right? <laughs> yes, and it's not really that hot yet. Not yet, no. Uh, borderline warm if you're out in the sun today, 80 degrees this afternoon.